It's 735. Good morning. I'm Dan Tridel. This is WCAI. Do you have a hobby? How much passion do you have for your hobby? And how far will you take it? That's some of what is examined in the captivating film documentary, They Came to Play, which looks at some of the participants in the International Piano Competition for Outstanding Amateurs. The film shows tomorrow night at the Tabernacle in Oak Bluffs and is presented by the Martha's Vineyard Film Society. Director Alex Rotaro has followed his passions as he assembled this film. Good morning. Thanks for having me. You grew up in Romania, your father a playwright, your mother an actress. You were an award-winning child actor, you fell in love with science, graduated top of your class at MIT with a degree in physics. In these past few years, you've been involved in a number of film documentaries. Quite a career. You make it sound so logical. It wasn't. I, I just followed um, the impetus of, of what was most attractive to me intellectually and, and artistically. And I've always had this love affair with left brain, right brain. And documentaries so far have been the most satisfactory field where those two meet. Which has led to this documentary, They Came to Play. It has. While I was at MIT, one of my minors was music and piano specifically. I'm an amateur pianist although nowhere at the level of this uh, group of, of people in this movie. But the idea belongs to the producer, Laurie Miller, who, in the process of interviewing would-be directors, discovered that I have a love for piano, and I think that it kind of sealed it. Let's listen to a small portion of your film soundtrack. I pretty much stopped the piano completely for a very long period of time. I quit piano for almost 10 years. Basically, I was away from the piano for 14 to 15 years. Turns out there's these competitions for people over the age of 35 to go and play. And I think all 75 of them would like to win. The Van Cliburn, I don't think there's another competition like it in the world. The reason why it's called the amateur competition is it's anyone that has not been under any kind of management. There, were, there are a lot of people in the competition that do a lot of great things with their lives, and they do also play, and they're very fine. These are amateur pianists from all over the world. They range from self-taught to classically trained, young and old, and they convene in Fort Worth, Texas, for a week of competition, music, and camaraderie. This must have been quite an event. It's the holy grail of amateur piano competitions. And uh, these people live, breathe, sleep, eat this this gold. This is what they dream of. This is what they're prepared. It's like the Olympics. I would imagine that even filming this documentary must have been inspiring. Polymaths are my favorite people. I think um, these multifaceted diamond individuals who I think we all have the potential of, of being. And, and yes, even going in these people's homes in the beginning, um, it was amazing. Seeing them and seeing the, these were people who were very accomplished in their, in their professions and they were accomplished in their family lives. And on top of that, they could play like a, a mid-19th century top-level pianist or even a modern top-level pianist and they didn't want to take the chances that would-be professional musician must take, they, uh, they can only pursue it as a hobby, and they make a love out of it. In the film, They Came to Play, what do you want viewers to take away from it? It is a wonderful thing to have a hobby and to think of it as something that can be practiced at a very high level. That amateur, the root of the word being, as, as most of your listeners will know, uh, from the Latin verb to love is lover of. So being an amateur can actually be a very high compliment to whatever art or hobby you have. And having a, a dream later in life, because most of these people are middle-aged or beyond, is perfectly okay and actually enriches one's life tremendously. But uh, the enjoyment of the actual music and of these quirky characters, because let me tell you, they're hilarious, is the immediate thing that I'd like the audience to leave with. Alex Rutaro is director of the documentary They Came to Play. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. They Came to Play is presented by the Martha's Vineyard Film Society. It shows tomorrow night at 8 at the Tabernacle in Oak Bluffs. Prior to the film, a free piano recital by Amaryllis Glass, who went to Juilliard and who stopped playing piano for 10 years to raise a family.